What's up everybody? Uh, today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to work out your pinky, how to make up your own exercises and uh, you know just get that little sucker there cooking with the rest of your fingers. So starting off, um, extremely basic thing like just play with intervals like uh, make it so that you play every interval on the guitar that you can physically play using the pinky so you know you'll go like half step you move that all around move it to different strings do it other way and yeah, once you get that in all ways, then do uh, full steps. And same thing. But do it in like an organized way, you know, when you're drilling it. So like, be like, okay, I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna go up the whole neck playing half steps, uh, going up the strings. So. Okay, and do it with the whole set. Do it descending. And uh, also do it, um, you know, minor thirds. It kind of is similar to another lesson that I posted before. And uh, also go beyond that, you know, do like major thirds, do fourths, do fifths, you know. Minor thirds, yeah, fuck yeah. So yeah, with that, I mean, you can you can practice for hours, you know, just doing the different. Just make it up, play it with a metronome. Make sure you play it with a metronome and you're tight with the metronome, because then it's gonna sound cool, you know, like whatever you know tempo you're playing it at. And, uh, and then it's just a matter, it does it on its own, it makes it pass on its own once you get it tight with the metronome. So, that's the first thing. Then, what I want you to do is uh, pick a chord progression you already know, like uh, anything with power chords. And instead of playing with your ring finger and your index finger, you're going to replace that with your middle finger and your pinky finger. So, um, you know, if you're playing Smells Like Dean Spirit. You know, or uh, something a little cooler, you know, ministry. Sepultura. to play with all my pinky. That's what you got to do though. Um, make your pinky your workhorse and then it's going to be just as strong as your index finger. It's not going to happen quick and like this thing's not you know naturally designed as good as this guy is for it being strong but it can get up there man. You can you can make this thing a diesel engine like just powerhousing it. And then you, you know all your fingers will have synchronicity at that point. So uh, we got those two things together. I'm going to show you one more thing, like uh, this is uh, an extended uh, pentatonic scale. So this is going to make it so that you're playing two pentatonic shapes at the same time. It's going to be A minor pentatonic, you know, so you're used to that. And then the shape right up from it. We're going to play those two shapes together, so it's going to be... Sounds really good when sequenced. And this is gonna mess your brain up, especially if you just practice the uh, pentatonic straight up and down, you know what I mean? So uh, the frets for you guys that would like me to show you, that is going to be fifth fret on the A, I mean A, fifth fret on the E string. Eighth fret, and then with your pinky, you're gonna hit the tenth fret. So, 
five, eight, ten, then go up to the A string on the fifth fret, five, seven, ten. So five, eight, ten, five, seven, ten. Then it's another five, seven, ten on the D string. So five, seven, ten. Five, eight, ten, five, seven, ten, five, seven, ten. Then we go to the G string. Five, seven, nine. So it's five, eight, ten, five, seven, ten, five, seven, ten, five, seven, nine, five, eight, ten, five, eight, ten. Very, very few shapes actually. So. Uh, 10, 8, Now how I want you to practice with your metronome. The triple is at about 100. What you want to do is make sure all the notes sound just as good, especially the stuff you're playing with your pinky, you know, because that's what you're emphasizing. So to recap, uh, play with intervals. Make sure you do it in an organized way with a metronome. So all different types of intervals. Um, you want to pick your favorite songs that have power chords and replace them with the pinky power chord. And you want to learn this triple, this extended uh, pentatonic shape, and learn it in all positions, and use it for not just A minor, which everybody knows A minor. You want to play it, uh, you know, B flat minor, G minor, like all over the place. This octave, that octave. Um, do that. Play everything, and you'll be able to play everything. You'll be awesome. You know, you'll be you'll be a golden god. So, right on. Keep rocking.